Okay, time to attack the kale pesto. Not kale pectate, but kale pesto. Kale pistachio pesto, specifically. All right, so this is gonna be, of course, a takeoff on the standard Genovese uh, pesto with basil, et cetera, et cetera. But this is gonna be a, a spin with using kale, in this case, baby kale. Uh, it's a little bit more tender and easier to work with. Then we've got pistachios, and they could be, I prefer roasted. Um, whether you salt them or not is up to you, but roasted, uh, perhaps salted uh, pistachios. Some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, some extra virgin olive oil, and some garlic. So let's go to the other food processor. I want to put the garlic cloves and the pistachios in to start, just to kind of get them broken down a little bit and release some of the oils in the uh, in the garlic. So I'll give that a few pulses. Here we go. It might get a little loud. I like a little texture in the pesto, so I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. That's uh, not broken down too terribly much. Just enough. Now, basically, everybody in the pool. So we're going to take the kale and go right in there, sneak it in there. That's about, yeah, about four ounces of kale. I'm going to put the cheese in as well. Then we'll get that started. Again, pulsing. So, take a quick look at that. That looks great. Now we're gonna put the olive oil in there. Now we can do it in a couple different ways. We can put it into uh, the food processor in a stream, or we can just kind of put it in there like that. And this will all come together nicely. Looking pretty good. Let's give this a taste. That's great. Really no need to um, put any salt in there. The uh, pistachios already had salt on them. The cheese definitely got a salty quality to it. I don't think it really needs any salt. And there's definitely a kind of a little spice from the kale. So I'm not even gonna put any pepper in there. So we're ready to go. Let's put this dish together. So we got the crostini. First things first. Take a little bit of the white bean mixture. Who is that handsome devil? No, not me, so it's gonna be somebody else. Now clearly, this recipe makes more than what you'll need for this evening, but it's a great hors d'oeuvre to have on hand. Don't be skimpy. There we go right there. You can put a little piece of Parmesan cheese on top if you like, as a little garnish, just to kind of set it off. And there we go. So that's that first starter, first course, the white bean crostini with the kale and uh, pistachio pesto. I hope you enjoy it. When we come back, We'll attack the salad course, which will be very, very quick.